Hi guys, today I'm doing a comparison video on what's in my bag and what fits between my classic Chanel mini, sorry, medium large flat bag. This comes in a black caviar leather with the silver hardware. And this is my camera style bag. It's a shoulder bag. It's also in caviar leather and it's a shoulder strap camera bag. So let me just roughly show you like what are the differences in terms of um, fittings but in terms of sizing i would say that they are about the same size where the camera bag it's about the same height and it's about the same length so it's exactly what you see for example like a medium flap but medium flap has in terms of like you know what it can contain is actually very narrow over here all these baldiness these is just double flap so it's not um a space where you can have your things filled whereby this particular camera bag I would say is wider and of course with the zip it allows um, more room in allowance of fitting your things in and it's also a stretchier leather so that's where obviously I would say that the camera bag would fit more but how much more let's just check it out so quick look a medium flap has a back pocket behind and of course a double CC lock and it's a double flap and inside it's a roomy compartment so that it's that and then when it comes to the camera bag it is this particular version I mean there's um, a couple of you know different design seasons to season but for this particular season this has a slip pocket in front which is pretty roomy and it comes with a slip pocket behind about the size of a regular medium flap also and it rests um, around the length if you double strap your medium Chanel it's about the same length but slightly longer on where it falls on you so now my camera bag is all filled and let me just quickly show you what I have inside and we'll try to transfer the items over to the medium flap later so this is how it looks from the top. Now, for my own personal usage, I do not really bring so many lotions and you know whatnot. But I'm just trying to show you what it fits. I did not totally max it out. If you can take a look, there was just some room over here for a couple of small little items and some rooms here. So, um, in terms of sunnies, probably you will have to remove this particular compact. You can probably have a sunny laid on top like that which I think it's fine, but not a huge one, but I would choose to have that. So it's not totally filled. There is just some ample room of bits right here. So first things first, I have my compact, which is a loose powder. And over here I have my hand cream from Crabtree and Evelyn. And this is all we have. And right on top, it's where, um, well, Barrack is a pencil case, but I use it as, you know, a small little pouch for makeup or snacks sometimes. So I would have this open. And inside a few items. It's not totally filled again. So, all right. So what you see is, this is, you know, a cuticle oil. This is a Sephora lips, lip gloss that we have. And I have also another eye cream product from Japan and that's that so here we go and we have on the side I have another lotion is a UV gel for you know skin protection I have so that's how it looks like now so I have four products on this side and this is my Chanel case my round coin purse another card holder another wallet that I have and my mobile phone is in front so I have some wet wipes and I have my Ricola candy. So, from the back, so this is my wet whites and Ricola candy. On the side, I have this, which is um, you know, a face spray that helps you know give you a good glow on the skin before your makeup, like a maximizer. I have a lipstick from Givenchy, and it's in the color of number one, perfect pink. I also have a Dior Glow, it's in Berry. I have a MS perfume right here. Now I'm left with all the small leather goods. So right behind, okay, right in 
here I have my extra card case from Kate Spade I love this and I have today I'm using my new um, 123 card holder this is from Laura Way it's a new color of the season you can check it out and um, this too are my coin purse okay I have my mobile phone and then I also have these two which is my Louis Vuitton brown coin purse which you use it for coins and I normally use my Chanel brown coin purse as a makeup kit so this is how it looks like and so I'm going to bring these two out this is my little makeup kit of course I have all my short makeups inside and this is the round coin purse so it's just coins inside and this one I have things like my hair tie um, my khaki I also have some lipsticks lip products inside shorter ones if you can see and this is my pill box which is nothing fancy but I just like to experiment with you know what it's out there so I have my vit minerals vitamins there which is in brown in color that's why it looks like that okay, let me fix that back so this is what fits in my little pouch and I have some hair ties right here yeah, and hair clips so that's that which is pretty good amount I would say for your like touch up user I'm sure you can fit a small little round coin compact inside and can maybe bring one lip product and you can have a little small brush um, as in a blusher maybe a liquid or gel type which you do not need a brush to touch up and maybe a hair tie that kind of thing and you have you know and a small eyeliner that you use to sharpen it to sharpen and it's like so small so you surely can have like a, a liner, a lip product, a small, very small compact, maybe a blusher, gel type would save up the space for the need of a brush. So I mean, it can be a particular <clears throat> makeup kit to try. It fits a Dior Glow, no problem. But it doesn't fit this Givenchy because it's a little too long. So you can go in, but you can't really zip it. So that's the difference okay so that is that and let's just see what can I transfer all these into this mini flap and if you have used a mini flap a lot of us would know that it probably doesn't fit that much okay I'm using one hand and it's gonna be a little tough so bear with me in some struggles and getting the back you know open and whatnot so let me try it this way okay so um I would definitely need a mobile phone, right, when you go out. So let's just try, sorry. Let's just try to fill the in front, which is for a quick access. So it's in the front pocket over here. Inside, I would say you need a wallet. So I have it this way. I'll put it this way so you can see it for the coloring later. So it's right there, around coin purse. So that's that. And I have probably this, you know, catch all for me. So I would have this zip. Assumingly that you know you have your little essentials here and you can have it as a makeup pouch or a coin purse, whichever you like it for. And I will place it in there. Okay, so you can see it lies there fine. In straight length. So this is how it looks like. So this is the oh, Coin Plus Chanel, Coin Plus LV, and my Louis Vuitton wallet. And a little bit of a space, pretty brim already. It's about the thickness of this particular pouch. So I'm pretty filled. So um, I can have something slim. For example, if you want to have another card holder lying in front of my round coin purse. There. Yep, that's how it looks like. And maybe a wet wipes can be. I can fill that in perhaps. Wet wipes, yes. And I mean, I don't really overstretch my back, so this is about the brim size. You can see how curved it is in the leather over here. So, um, yep, if you can see from the top view again, that is what I have. 
five items with my mobile phone in front and these are what I have not added into the bag yet so again in terms of comfort level probably what I'll do is just top it up with a perfume or maybe have the perfume standing on the side like that MS small size perfume no problem it's fine closing I think so far which is totally perfect so these are all out I don't think it can fit all in but let's just try to transfer whatever we can to max it out from into here so this would be a comfort level if you're fine and going out like that but again you can look at the creases on the back well a lot of us would not like that if let's say I transfer this to this pocket a little better in terms of the creasing is not as bad but that's another way you can do it too so well there's a bit of a bulge already so we have the chanel coin purse wet wipes mobile phone card holder brown coin purse wallet zip card holder wallet and my perfume so on the top it's just a little space if you want to put a sunny small one again yes if not you may have a problem closing let me try to close now it's rather a bit of a snug no that's easy it's very tight it's very tight as if i'm like pressing this part it's bulging out over here so it's not very comfortable honestly i would not have anything more in terms of the thickness like that and these can go in but on the top angle probably so let me just ease some of the okay let's max it up first all right so let's try this makeup go in no obviously not because it's too high so you need something slim so like these kind of length if you lay it down like that probably but you want to risk having a bottle of stuff laying like that in your chanel bag well if it leaks i mean that's not something we want so we have that and maybe some hand lotion right on top can fill up a little bit more dior glow right there Maybe I can try putting it on the side. It's very, very tight. It's very, very, very tight. Uncomfortably tight. And I do not do that. So probably I'll do that. And that's how it looks like already. It's like unevenly fum fumbling around. And let's try to close it now. I have great difficulty in closing it. You know? And I will probably squash my le small leather goods inside. I can't. I'm pushing it all the way this way. And if I can insist if I want to, but I will... I feel that I will be damaging my small leather goods inside because I have my Chanel pouch, which I, they have that particular quilting, which I do not want to squeeze it too much. So I think this is not max. I mean, I mean, this is the max in terms of what you can fit in, but the back can close comfortably. It can be solved, I think, in terms of the width. So maybe I remove a card case and I remove this wet wipes. I need a mobile phone definitely, right? So I can remove that. So I will lay it like that. So I'm left with my Amis perfume, Evelyn Prep Tree um, hand lotion, round coin purse, and my zippy cut holder behind, and my mobile phone, and this Chanel um, round coin case. Top it up with these two items. And let's try This is much better. So it's because of the stretch in terms of the width, which is occupied by um, this wet wipes. And this so these little minimal not too thick actually it's very thin it actually affects this Chanel flat back so much so I would say this is the maxed out in order to close the back comfortably and is already maxed out even it's not like I have ample rooms inside as compared with this and this is how much things I have left out which is a card holder small packet of wet wipes if you have the huge one I'm sorry definitely you have a problem and you have a Sephora long lip balm ricola mint i have my two face eye product and i have this compact these two products javanchi lipstick and another nail product and this pouch so these are all being left out from the medium flap in order to close it comfortably little to the max to the brim i would say and whereby this one after all these things are in i still have a couple of little pockets of rooms here and there which definitely I told you this fits really well so that's that so in terms of sizing in future if you want to talk about carrying but of course the shortcoming is that there's only one way of carrying it which is a shoulder style like that that's all you get 
so um nothing much of a versatile i don't see any how you, unless you want to talk about backpack ones strap on each side i mean it doesn't make sense you look very silly so this is the only way of carrying it and whereby this one it can be done off of two straps or a one strap which is it makes it longer honestly i like to carry it like that it falls lower onto my waist it's very comfortable because my arm doesn't hit the back so that's the main reason but other than that in terms of like you you do not mind that's just a one style carry but in terms of rooms in terms of fitting your things in easy access because you can keep this opening well so whatever you want you can grab and go so let us just retransfer things back out so again to let you, you see what fits inside my medium flap which is on top is this and I have a Dior Glow, Amis Perfume, I have hand lotion, I have a mobile phone, I have a brown coin purse from Louis Vuitton, I have my card holder from Louis, and last one, it's my brown coin purse or my makeup kit from Chanel. So this is what it can fit very comfortably inside and honestly it's not a lot so that's that and the last one we will do it again on let's pack it back but if you want to know if a long Chanel wallet fits into this bag yes it does very comfortably and you still have a little room to play with behind so let's try this version if it's a long wallet can I still fit this in because it's bulky and thick Yes, I can. I don't feel the whole uncomfortable stretch, but I can feel that it's filled up, but it's not very uncomfortable yet. Put it at the corner. Brown coin purse. And probably that's that. I will not use this because since you have a full wallet, you probably won't need this, right? Maybe you need a cut holder. Let's just try. And that's that. So in terms of the width, um, I do have a little space right here, a very thin one, which I'll use it about the size of a wet wipe, a small one. That's how it looks like. So my long wallet is here. Round coin purse, which is a makeup kit from Chanel that I use for. Louis Vuitton round coin purse, card holder, wet wipes. And that's that. On the side, I do have a pocket, you know, small little space pocket there, which I use it for my MS or perfume. That's why I like to buy things that are slim and long because I always can slot them into like little areas you know and even if they lie across is even nice as compared with these kind of sizing you really can't you have to really maneuver your things or you have, really have to have a big bag but in small bags i would find that these small items works very well so and then i can try to have um so with a long, long wallet inside i mean this is how I, I would carry perhaps with maybe a hand lotion and maybe you would need um some mints or whatnot you can place it behind Okay, it's a little snug, so I'll just leave it on the top like that. Alright. Or maybe you can have it in the back pocket. Even. So I can put it in the back pocket. And then I can have another lip product on top. I mean, all these goes in fine, I'm very sure. Even this makeup thing. You probably can't... Um, Oh, I, I was wrong. I mean, it all fits. Can all these fit in, even with my long wallet inside? I mean, these are all the original items that I have. I doubt, but I have a problem fitting in my mobile phone now. Um, okay, I'll, probably this won't go in. But in terms of like all other stuff, yeah, probably there. And I have not really maxed out to the brim, but who would do that, really? So that is that, and... To replace the long wallet, these things have to be out. I mean, if I really want to insist, I can probably fit in in a right angle somewhere. I can do this in. I don't think it's a problem. So I would probably have to leave these two out in replacing a long wallet inside, which it's very bulky, the long wallet. So yeah, I would say that's that. So again, with the long wallet, what we have inside this camera bag would be this item. You can have a compact size you can have this lotion all these three lip products one two three lip products you can have another hand lotion all these are found on the top area over here just now so this is how the bag would look like i have two more products right here 
so it's quite a ton for those who love to bring these goodies out and that is all and I love this organization I just love it but one thing I do not like if let's say you remove the wallet for payment or whatever things falls but I arrange it like that it's not so bad so if you want to put your wallet back I just have to shift it this way and to you know but it runs around so you need two hands to arrange your stuff and slot it in that's why I do not like it so that's why I am fussy over and how I arrange my bags but if you are fine with it go ahead but imagine if you chop all these on top how are you gonna get your wallet out it's impossible right but we're just talking about in terms of fitting so all these fit inside and these three items I have my rank point purse card holder wet wipes and I also have my MS perfume which I put it on the side and I also have this particular round coin purse which I use it for as a makeup kit so these fills it I mean it fills a ton as compared with you know, what you have seen from the Chanel medium flap so that's that in a comparison of what fits in my bag in between I would say that this is a medium size also it's just as a camera bag the leather is different is a zip top fits differently so this is definitely a very good buy in terms of like what you want to fit in the only thing is in terms of carrying and style is limited to only one choice whereas this has two way of carrying it but it's very limiting and of course this is a very classic look of a Chanel bag so that really depends but the price point is different I've got it this um, Sing dollars is about 5,000 plus. Sing dollars for this is about 7,000 plus. So in USD, I mean, in difference is about 2,000 over dollars. In conversion, it would probably be about 1,500, I think, in the price point difference of USD approximately. I'm not very accurate, but approximate. So it's about 1,500 USD cheaper to get this back than to get this classic one. So, but again, this is a double flap. The leather is thicker. There's more leather inside, so of course you're praying for the price of this, you know, for that. And it's a very classic one. So that is all I have, and thank you guys for watching. Again, any questions, do give me, do leave me a comments below. And then um, do subscribe if you like the comparison videos. I love to do comparisons because I like, my, I like myself would love to find out, like, how can I fit my bag better, arrange it better, and what are the things that I will look out for when using a bag. So this is how I would normally organize my bag. So thanks for watching and have a good day. Bye.